take your personal and professional life to the next level with like-minded powerhouses and women of community. The Sisterhood Conference is giving you the chance to learn, grow, expand, and succeed in all facets of your life, making you the leader of your journey. And founder Amber Faruqi joins us with more. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so tell us how you started the Sisterhood community. Yeah, so networking has been a huge reason of why I've gotten to where I am today in my business. At such a young age, being 24 years old now and owning multiple businesses and successful businesses, thankfully, networking has been a big reason. So I used to go to a lot of networking events and I realized they were very male dominant. It was mm -hmm. hard for me to find that woman connection that I was craving for so long. So I basically ended up starting the conferences because of that. And it began with a small little gathering. I just wanted a little bit of woman connection, around 15 people the first year. And then from there, it just grew and doubled in size every single year. So the first year we had our actual conference in 2020, Two. Okay. And we had around 50 people. Then last year was 2023, our second annual conference doubled. We had um, 2023, we had around 100. We actually oversold out. And then now it's our third year doing this conference. Okay, <laughs> this is incredible. I know you just kind of gave us a synopsis of how this all started, but let's go back here. I mean, you were in school. How old were you when you decided, okay, I'm going to start this? I actually began in like fitness coaching. So I started that around like 18, 19 okay. years old, super young. And then around 2020, when I turned 20, I transitioned into business coaching and the conferences. I mean, this is when most people are just learning the skills <laughs> of being able to network and introduce themselves. I was just themselves. trying to get to class on time. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, was this something that you you were never shy? You, you found it was very easy to connect with people? And did you notice that you had a skill that other people maybe could use help in? Yeah, definitely. I always grew up a pretty confident girl, and I feel like just connecting with people was something that I really enjoyed doing, and I had a really good network of people, and I wanted to leverage that and be that super connector for other people mm -hmm. because it helped me so much in my career, and I wanted to give back to other women out there as well. So, yeah. Yeah, and I know in your conference and elsewhere, yeah. you talk about how to connect, how to network, how to do that, and maybe if you aren't feeling so confident, what would you say are some of the biggest tips that you can give people? Yeah, for sure. I would say number one is going in with an intention, having a goal. Goal setting has been a big reason of why I have so much confidence because when you accomplish your goals, you become a lot more confident. Yeah. So I would go in making a goal like, okay, I'm going to speak to five women today at this event about X, Y, Z, whatever the reason is, right? So when I accomplished that goal, it would help me a lot more. And I went in with a purpose, with a you know mission kind of. So that's like one of the tips that I would give. So you could even say like, in a week, I'm going to set three coffee dates mm -hmm. with a, a woman that I admire, yeah, right? And exactly. make sure that that happens. And yeah, right. once you do it, you do feel better about yourself. Yeah. And I love this too. You really believe that there's a connection that you can make. Just mm -hmm. one connection can really change your yeah, life. It really can. And it did for me. And I want to do that for other people too. Yeah. How mm -hmm. did that happen for you? Yeah. For me, it was just networking events, multiple different connections, you know, meeting like-minded people, mentors, coaches. And that's the reason that I was able to build so many businesses at a young age, getting into, you know, my book that I also sold and hitting bestseller, starting these conferences, meeting the speakers who speak at my conferences and just doing everything I do. It's honestly the connections that I have, the relationships that I build. I always emphasize relationships with like your community is number one and your relationship with God. That's like the two things that have helped me so much in my career. So tell us about the conference. When is it? How can people get involved? Yeah. So it's August 16, 17. It's a two-day event. So day one is a VIP kickoff night. We're doing a red carpet gala. Super excited for that. And then August 17th on Saturday is the main day where we're going to have different speakers, panelists, workshops. It's just a full experience. I don't like to call it an event. I like to call it an experience for everyone attending. So yeah. That's and kind of that. you say that once you are at this conference, um, there's easy little icebreakers you can do, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of those? Yeah, I would say definitely a good way to like just icebreak and network with people is like when I go to networking events and I feel uncomfortable, sometimes I'll just go up to someone if I like their shoes and compliment them and be like, okay, that's super cute. Where'd you get that from? It just kind of breaks up the ice and you start conversation very like genuinely and casually. So that's kind of that. But at the conference, I have specific ways for people to start, you know, breaking the ice. So I'll definitely have that Exercises. there. Exercises. Yes. Everybody loves a compliment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh my mm. goodness. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. And then tell us what are your businesses that you're, I mean, you say businesses, not yeah. just one, Sarah. <laughs> 
multiple. Yeah, yeah. So I started off fitness coaching and then I transitioned into business coaching. So I basically work with small entrepreneurs and businesses to help them grow their social medias and basically monetize and build a personal brand. And um, then I have the sisterhood community as well. So these events that I do, mastermind programs, I have a lot of digital products that I sell as well. Um, things okay. like that. So you've accomplished so much. What do you, where do you see yourself in five, ten years? I see myself hopefully having the largest like women's conference in the U.S. and just growing and empowering and changing women's lives all over the world. You're our Ooh. Chicago area girl. Yes. <laughs> Illinois. That. I love it. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so awesome. much, Amber. The Sisterhood Conference is August 17th. For tickets and more information, just head to 2024sisterhoodconference.org or find them on Instagram.